Hi Pisces, welcome back to Clear Compassion. This is Deirdre. Thank you so much for joining the channel. So since we left off, we were talking about the Temple of Truth. And I thought since the full moon really does affect the Pisces in the most powerful way, both emotionally and physically, I would continue on using Archangel Michael in today's reading, specifically Archangel Michael and his sort of light to help us in cutting to the core of the truth. And in doing so, we're going to pull five cards. The first card is going to be what is hidden from you. And this may be something that somebody else is keeping from you or something that you're keeping from yourself, you know, where you're too blind to see it. And it, it's not that you're uh, doing this deliberately. It, it's something that's personal to you that you are distracting yourself in avoidance of. The th second card we're going to pull is where you might be operating from, whether it's based on fear or ego. And again, we're going to see what Archangel Michael um, says for you specifically. And if it resonates, wonderful. If it does not, then please keep an open mind. Sometimes these things are uh, affecting you at different stages. So if it's not today, it may be later on during the week, but it's something to, to keep aware of to know where your, um, where your thoughts and emotions are coming from. And it's to help guide you through your own personal truth. The third card is what strengths you have that you can rely on. What, what is it that's going to keep you moving forward, pushing ahead? The fourth card is going to be changes that you might need to make. And the fifth card is going to be how those changes would improve your life. So let's go ahead again. We're going to pull five cards. And the first card, interesting, is Archangel Michael is saying to be honest with yourself. All your feelings, even the difficult ones, have a message for you. So this is about you accepting your truth and then letting source take it from there. Source being your divine uh, beings, right? Your spirit guides, your ancestors, your ascended masters, your guardian angels, Archangel Michael specifically. Because what he wants you to know is that your truth doesn't mean that you need to reveal all your thoughts and secrets to others right away. Like for some uh, situations, uh, it, it calls for sharing, right? However, it can sometimes be hard to tell what your current circumstances are dictating. So Archangel Michael is asking you to ask him to let him help you. And then if you have feelings that you wish to keep secret, he's asking, why do you want to keep those secret? What, what, why do you not want to share? Okay, because he can help guide you to find clarity by using his sort of light to sever connections of negative stories and fears and, and the past. And he's going to allow um, you to reach out to yourself and embrace yourself and know that your truth is nothing to feel shame of. He can also help you uh, by sending signs, um, little, little pings of emotions, if you will, so that you know what's real and what isn't, right? Because we can all manifest things in our in our mind that tell us one thing but that's not really how we truly feel and and we make choices based on fear so you'll be able to make a statement for yourself is what archangel michael is saying by being honest with yourself and writing down what it is that you're feeling and identifying where those feelings and thoughts are coming from so he will and again, you have to ask him for assistance, specifically with the actions that um, are best to align with your own free will. Because once you know your personal truth, this is where you can best decide whether or not you want to share this with others or wait for divine timing. Yeah, I feel like there's something out there where somebody is wanting to do something and really express themselves and they're holding back. Archangel Michael is like, look, you are a divine being like everybody else. And if you have something you want to share in this world, whether it's a small group or a large group, let your truth be known. Feel freedom from that truth. But you must be ready for it. And if you're not, then ask Archangel Michael why. 
Okay, so the second card, this is where you might be operating from. All right, don't settle for less. Hmm. All right, so you are a child of the divine and you deserve to have your dreams come true. So don't give up. I like this very much because Archangel Michael is saying that when you are honest with yourself, you will no longer settle for less. You will no longer hide um, behind the veil, if you will, or um, like you're not going to be standing in a crowd and hiding behind others. And again, it's not that you're hiding behind others intentionally. It's your, 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 there's this af afraid. I, I don't know why the word afraid keeps coming up, but it's like, don't be afraid to step out and show your, your glow, your joy, what you have to share. There are opportunities beyond, beyond your wildest dreams here, right? Every one of us has the opportunity to dream big, live big. So Archangel Michael is saying that it's really important now to get clarity on what you really want. What do you truly, really want? So not only are you being honest with yourself, but what is it that you are expecting as an outcome? You may um, also benefit from the advice of others because sometimes we think we want something and we really don't. We're, we're, we only want it for a temporary fix. When you do get advice, though, don't let anybody dictate your choices. <laughs> he, Archangel saying, uh, Michael is saying that if you could only see your future now, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be hesitating. That's really great because it's part of them saying to you, hey, step out of your own way. But before you do that, know why you were, you were, you were, you know, like <laughs> they're saying hiding behind the bushes. Okay. So no more for that. Be honest with yourself. Don't settle for less. All right. So now here's our third card. These are the strengths. These are the things that you can rely on right now. Take control of your thoughts. So this is the strength that you have. This is where you control your thoughts. Your thoughts are creating your reality. So Archangel Michael is saying, what you think about is what you manifest. Have faith and stay focused on the outcome that you truly desire. So when you're not settling and you are, the, you are making your plan, right? You are not settling for less. And in order to accomplish this, it is about you taking control of the way you think during the day, the, the words that you say to yourself in your mind, okay? Because it's your spiritual truth. It's turning your thoughts toward hope, which is also a lot easier said than done, okay? But your fears and worries have a tendency to obsess your mind. So Archangel Michael is trying to unlock those thoughts that are in your head. And journaling is very good for this because you can actually see in your own writing and in your own words, when you reread what you've written, you will say to yourself, I can't believe that's the way I think about myself. Or I can't believe those are the words that came out of my mouth. These thoughts that are going through your head could be from the ego or fear. But when you're in alignment with yourself, and you believe in who you are and what you want in this world, not just for yourself, but what you want to share with others, you gain this power and that helps you gain control of your thoughts. If you find yourself in a negative dialogue about your life, change the subject. It's not that you're ignoring it, but you're not feeding it. You're not giving it any nourishment to grow. You're saying, no, that's not where I want to be. That's not how I'm, I'm going to manifest the good in my life. This is a negative. Let's turn it into a positive. So if you're faced with something that worries you, 
immediately imagine the opposite happening because Archangel Michael can help you disconnect from fear and quiet your mind. And when you're trying to use the power of your thoughts to your advantage, ask Archangel Michael to help you. You're going to be amazed how you can change the way you think about yourself. All right. So card number four here, this is changes that you might need to make. Sorry, my hand is a little hurting today. All right. So your vibration is rising. Yes. And that's, that's a great gift to have, which is that if you continue with your spiritual growth and raise your vibration, which is coming from a place of joy and love and compassion, you are no longer feeding the negative, but you are evolving to occupy a higher energetic frequency and you have the capabilities and you are doing it right now. Okay, but sometimes with the moon, you know, it takes us back to see the shadows um, and what's still within our fear. So it is possible to have noticed that you're feeling, you know, a little different and you should be because you're always constantly changing. So when you feel these changes, whatever these differences are that what you were and what you are now, you want to take and hug the wonders of the great things that you have accomplished. And anything that's negative is the past. Things you can't control, things that happened that can't be changed. So why, why put any effort into that? This frequency, you're tuned in and turned on. Yeah, your human experiences are shifting you because the work that you've been doing to become a stronger, healthier person and a more spiritual person is why you're going through all of this in the first place. So keep that vibration high. That's one of your strengths. Always ask Archangel Michael, you know, to bring you more heightened experiences to raise your vibration to more interesting, uplifting, glorious moments. This also will keep you on that path of raising your vibration and keeping that frequency high. Now, the last card is how those changes would improve your life. All right, so embrace your life purpose. Do you see this? I, I couldn't have. <laughs> They're so good. They are so good. So once you embrace your life purpose, this is what's guiding you toward your divine uplifting moment. This is what makes your heart joyful and what is meant, what, excuse me, what you're meant to be doing. I mean, he laid it out so nicely for you today because what he's saying is, First, be honest with yourself, okay? And truly honest. If it's something that you would like to do, but you're really not gifted towards that, but it's in the field, then change it up a little bit. Find something else that's going to give you additional confidence. Secondly, don't settle for less. This is what you're doing. You're building your own new empire and this new reality for yourself. So take control of your thoughts. Don't let anything, whether it's other people's chatter or your own mind that is bringing up, raising some thoughts of fear. You know it as soon as it happens. Wash it away. Get out of my head, Bob. That's what I say. Get out of my head, Bob. And no offense to anybody named Bob out there. It's just, it's easy for me to say. All right. And then you have your vibration is rising. So when you know that you can control something within yourself that builds your confidence, your vibration rises. And things that you can do to raise your vibration, whether it is going out and taking a walk in nature and just enjoying its beauty, whether it's the birds chirping outside, a deer crossing the path, whatever it may be, spending time with animal or friend, Okay, but only positive 
people in your world. And then you will be able to embrace your life purpose, which is actually the ultimate goal here, right? Because when you embrace your life purpose, it's what you're meant to do. Now, for some of you, it's about writing. It's, it's about journaling your thoughts to get you to that new growth period. You have dreams for a reason. And these dreams are a sign that leads you to the right path for yourself. Always in our dreams, there are going to be detours. But how you experiencing, um, excuse me, how you experience the bumps in the road is for you to figure out, right? It's, it, the bumps in the road should never be a deterrent. They should be, okay, how can I learn from this? And also, this is just a temporary pause for me to reflect and see how I might have to change something. So Archangel Michael is with you always, especially because he helps with your life purpose. All right. I know that seems like a lecture, but this is Archangel Michael, excuse me, Archangel Michael's full on advice today for you. Okay. It's what is hidden from you, how you're operating on your day to day basis right now, what strengths you can rely on for yourself, changes that you might need to make, and then how those changes would improve your life. Okay, I hope this resonated with you. Now I'm going to pull one Archangel Animal Oracle card just as a little bonus for the final portion of this reading. What a beautiful read. Okay, here we go. The owl. <laughs> Listen to the messages of the angels. Okay, so Archangel Michael is clearly saying to you, Pay close attention to yourself, honor your truth, and listen to the angel's advice when you receive it. I hope you all enjoyed this reading. Please continue to like and subscribe. Take care, everyone.